currently the chief of musculoskeletal radiology at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, I've been there for a year and a half. Before that, I was at Duke for 13 and a half years. Mm -hmm. And while I was there, I was the director of medical student radiology education, as well as a member of the musculoskeletal section. And uh, during that opportunity to teach medical students became uh, uh, something that I was very passionate about. So I created a radiology textbook to assist with medical student education. Uh, and um, then the uh, relationship with Elsevier really grew. And uh, I uh, was asked to be part of another uh, book that um, was um, edited uh, by them. And that's a musculoskeletal MR book, which is uh, was very fun to put together uh, with our co-authors. Uh, and that book is doing pretty well. Um, and uh, because the relationship with Elsevier is so good, uh, I got uh, tapped to uh, put together another book, and that's the book that's out uh, this RSNA, which is uh, using, utilizing uh, Fred Netter's drawings, which he's very famous for, obviously, with uh, medical imaging. And we combined that with um, some uh, state-of-the-art MR imaging. So uh, there are lots of anatomy kind of books out there. What makes this one a little bit more unique is the netter-like quality to the images. And then we have the MRI slices in all three eta planes, axial, coronal, sagittal. But in addition to sort of just doing the basic T1 weighted kind of imaging, we do um, the more commonly used protocols. So if you're sitting there at uh, the PAX unit and you see some anatomy that doesn't quite fit mm -hmm. with you know what you're looking at, then this book is basically utilizing probably the sequence that you're looking at and looking down at the book and then being able to correlate it as opposed to what often happens where you have to extrapolate. Well, let's see what this would look like if I were just looking at the cadaveric section or your basic T1 weighted image. Fantastic. Uh, I think a large part of that is they just have really good people that are um, part of that organization. Uh, the first person that I started with is not there now, but the handoffs have been seamless. And everybody is really, like, they take great pride in that product, so they do follow it from the beginning to the end, and you never feel like you're left alone. There's always somebody reminding you about, uh, in a pleasant way, a deadline <laughs> that needs to be met and so on. And uh, But all along, they're, they're very, very helpful. It's a, it's a great company to work with. One of the things that I became interested in right before I left Duke and went to Penn is using some of our radiology in preventive medicine. So, uh, so I, I was working uh, fairly closely with the basketball team at the time, and we were able to utilize MR as kind of a screening tool. And, uh, and I think that there is really some utility for that. Uh, they use it in uh, Europe, for instance, for their soccer players before they sign big contracts. So, uh, so it's probably going to be something that we might see more of, particularly when there's multi-million dollar contracts that are being signed.